Good morning and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Well, today is Monday, you guys, and we find ourselves at the start of another work week. I hope that today finds you well, that you awoke this morning in your right mind with a song in your heart and a praise on your lips, giving God the glory and the honor and the praise that he so greatly deserves. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, I hope you had an awesome weekend. I hope that you were able to spend time with the Lord, that you make time to spend time with the Lord. Last week, we talked about how important the Word of God is to our life. And we came from the book of Mark around the fourth uh, chapter, around the 14th verse. And Jesus is talking to the disciples about a parable. And um, in this parable, he is relating the kingdom of God and the Word of God to a sower and a seed or a farmer who sows the seed. And he said that a sower sows the word. And when we talk about a seed here, we're talking about the word of God. And he gave us examples of different types of people and how they receive the word. We talked about that person who um, who hears the word and immediately the enemy comes and, and takes it away. And then we talked about the person who the seed is sown or the word is sown on stony ground. So it never takes root. And um so when things start happening, when affliction comes and persecution comes, they lose that word. And then there was a third person that we talked about, and that was the person who heard the word of God and it had begun to take root in your life. But then when the cares of the world and the Bible says the deceitfulness of riches came about, then the, that then that would choke the word. And I just wanted to go back and talk a little bit about that this morning, especially the cares of this world, because that's where many of us find ourselves today. We are we heard the word of God it has began to take root in our lives and we are really you know trying to live out that word but the cares of this world and the cares of the world are not always bad things it's not always you know are things that would that are sinful but they can be things that distract us and take our attention away from the word of God you know I was thinking 20, 20 years ago 25 plus years ago we didn't have all the things in the world that could take our attention you know what I'm saying the iPhone and the iPads and, you know, computers and all those things that we put our time into. Listen, I love Facebook. It's the way that I get the word of God out the way God has, has, um, assign me to do it. But Facebook should not take the place of you spending time with God. If you find yourself on Facebook all day, then you can, can't possibly be spending time so much time in the word of God. There needs to be time set aside to, re can you imagine if you spent the same amount of time in the word that you spent on Facebook, how much fruit you would have in your life, how much growth you would have in your life? Because we can't just, we have to spend quantity time and quality time in the word of God, you know, and quantity time is so much more important because we have to sit in his presence, allow him to pour into us and hear revelation and what he's trying to teach us. You know, in the book, book of Luke, I believe it's the third chapter, 39th verse. That might not be correct. I'll have to give you scripture reference at the end of this. Maybe it's the fourth chapter, the 39th verse. But Martha and Mary are there and Jesus has come to visit. And I believe it's uh, Mary that's sitting at his feet and she's listening to everything that Jesus has to say and listening to him teach. And Martha is up and she's busy. She's getting things ready. She's here. She's there. She's doing everything. And she gets upset because her sister is just sitting at the feet of Jesus. And she says to Jesus, well, listen, don't you care that I'm doing all this work and Martha and Mary is just sitting here at your feet and Jesus says to her Martha you are careful for many things and you're troubled over many things he said but Mary he said there's one thing that's needful one thing that's needful and and Mary is doing that in other words all this work that you're doing is wonderful it's great that you're doing things for God that you're spending time in church that you're constantly you know on Facebook delivering the word and, and, and encouraging people but God says there's one thing, one thing that is needful. And the thing that is needful is to sit at his feet and let him pour into you and hear a word from him. Okay. So that's just something I want you to really think about and consider this morning. The things that you're doing is wonderful and people are being blessed. But if you are not spending the same amount of time at his feet, then you are missing it because he says that's the one thing that is needful and no one can take that away.
away from you. Amen. Listen, I love you guys. Have a blessed, awesome, Holy Ghost filled Monday. Tell somebody about Jesus. Don't keep this thing to yourself. Remember how you were before you know him. Well, there are a lot of people who don't know our Lord and Savior. So tell them about Jesus. Spend time in the word. If you are at work and you're on Facebook, then you can be at work and you can be and you can have the word of God playing in your ear or you can uh, take time to read the word of God because if you're working and you got Facebook on you can certainly have the word of God there okay listen this is not a a, a condemnation or anything this morning I'm speaking to myself um, even as I'm speaking to you okay God bless you I love you have a great day